So we're here at uh, TechCrunch Disrupts in London, and who are you? Uh, my name is Yun Jiali, and I'm an Enterprise Fellow of Royal Academy, and I'm also a Research Fellow of the University of Southampton. So here with the Royal Academy of Engineering, what are they helping you in the Enterprise Hub? Yes, the Enterprise Hub is uh, basically a charity to help young entrepreneurs like me to build up my business out of my PhD research. So uh, where are you doing your PhD? Uh, well, I'm just re interested in this area, uh, multimedia artificial intelligence. In, uh, it is in, um, in uh, uh, speech, rec uh, speech yeah. recognition. Where? In the UK, right? Where? Yeah, in Southampton University. Southampton yeah. University? Yeah. And uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Mike Wold. I'm Professor Mike Wold. I uh, am Yun Jiu's uh, PhD supervisor. He got his PhD a few years ago and he worked on Sino uh, with me. And the whole idea of Sino was a way to make uh, teaching and learning more accessible. So we took lectures and recorded lectures. We used speech recognition to transcribe the lectures. So what is special about your way of doing speech recognition? So we can uh, train our speech recognition model based on the, uh, uh, the domain knowledge, and uh, we can gradually improve the speech recognition result. So this is AI? Yes, this is uh, artificial intelligence, yeah. So this is not just like a what is the standard way of doing this? It's uh, comparing uh, stuff, uh, like uh, sentences and stuff, but you are doing it differently? Yeah, so we, uh, uh, the current minimal viable product that we are working with the universities for university lectures. So after they take the lecture, we'll give it to us and we will generate the transcript for them. So you take the lectures and then you can tra generate the transcript. How good is the transcript? It depends on lots of things. My lectures tend to be more than 90% accurate, uh, so I use a good microphone and I tend not to speak too fast. Obviously, it can reduce from that, but we have a method to correct the errors in the speech recognition by collaborative editing by the students, so we can get the accuracy back up to 100%. Nice, they can just log in and change a few words that are wrong. Exactly, but the trick is, they're all logged in, we're recording every single edit everybody makes, and we have algorithms to compare the edits, we can look at the reputation of the student for how well they correct, and we can give scores and rewards to students based on their editing. What's, uh, so there's, it's super important to have transcripts of all the lectures, right? Well, there are lots of reasons to get transcripts. One is, in theory, it's a legal requirement to make videos accessible, uh, particularly for students because they're paying customers, um, but also there's disability legislation. But also you can search the lectures from the transcript, you can translate them in different languages, and you can actually read much faster than you can listen. So it makes everything a lot more useful. So you search for a word and then you get exactly directly to, to, to that place in the video? Exactly, exactly. So you can find things, but you can also bookmark and tag uh, the lecture as well. So uh, what, you have a platform here in mind? Yes. So what is this platform? So this is uh, our user interface, a collaborative editing. This is one interface. of my videos, right? Yes, exactly. So that's, that's one of your videos. So we can play the video, and you can see that the transcript will be here. And if you spot any problem in the transcript, you can sort of edit it. Nice. I said you can put this in the washing machine. Oh, th this one is pretty accurate, actually. Yeah. So we can go for another one, probably. Yeah, I just need to get connected online. And we can see all the transcript down here. Yeah. But we also have a, a, a print-friendly option. So if you're replaying your video on a mobile device, there is a problem with the bandwidth. You're paying for the bandwidth. So you can print it out. We can print it out. And we have a QR code, which means you can use your mobile phone and replay the video from that point. You can scribble and take notes on it. Nice. And it makes the whole thing flexible for so learning. So how many are using it already? Is it real out there? We've yeah. been using it for about eight years um, at our university, and there's some other universities around the world. But up to now, it hasn't been available. So how long did you say? Well, we've been, it's been available for eight years, but it's been more of a research project. So yeah. we've launched this company of Sino to be able to make this available to a wider 
number of students. This could be for anything, no? Everybody needs transcription of everything, right? Yeah, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be lecture videos. Uh, our speech recognition currently they train for speech uh, for the lectures, but it could be used for conferences, for coaching, for video, uh, for the, for the real time chatting. Or it could be used online. when people walk around conferences taking videos and interviewing people. I totally need this yeah, a, you a, do. a lot. <laughs> so uh, YouTube has some transcripts, but how 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 would you say maybe you compare with them? Are you better? Yeah, we are better. Roughly, we are about uh, five to ten percent better than their uh, results. Usually. Which is very important because. Uh, every time you hear or you see a mistake, you get kind of discouraged about the thing, yeah. and you kind of maybe you want to, uh, you know, forget about the idea and stuff. But yeah, as you just said, uh, the, you know, we can take the slides and information about the topic and train the system, which YouTube doesn't do. How do you train? How does that work? Because my video, for example, I interviewed a Swiss guy, yeah. and you clicked on Swiss German or something, and yeah. then it improved. Yeah, so the, the usually a couple of problems about uh, the accuracy of the speech recognition. So one important one is you don't have the, the right uh, vocabulary to actually to describe what you what are trying to say. So for example, if you interview a company and if I get all the information about this company online, then probably uh, some of the words will appear in, in your interview. So in this way, the speech recognition result can be improved. So for example, the word synote doesn't exist in most dictionaries um, and therefore the speech recognition has to look it up in a dictionary. If it can't find it, it'll find the nearest word it can find. Whereas if you, if you train it with the word Sino, it will then be able to find it. And you should be able to recognize accents, right? Yeah. And then uh, get into the accent and get better recognition automatically or do you have to select it or how does that, is that can, can that be improved or yeah, what yeah, can you do in the future? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we want to have a, a fully trained system that is easy to be trained by different people with accents or, 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 or even their own vocabulary. So that's, a, that's a totally possible in the future. But also, when you correct the transcript, you can use the corrected transcript to retrain it. And so it can get better. So uh, uh, what are you doing here at the TechCrunch Storm? What are you looking for now? You're a startup, right? What's the next step? What's going to happen? So we are looking for different uh, customers and ideas that uh, the system can be useful. And we are also looking for financial investors who will be interested in uh, investing in our technology. So this can be done here in the UK? Uh, it's fully done in the UK. Where, where are the people doing this? Well, I'm quite, quite confident we have fully done this in the UK. I've got support from the Royal Academy of Engineering. So uh, hopefully uh, that should be far away from us. So the best uh, speech recognition in the world, potentially, Right here. Yeah, right here, yes. Right, cool.